what's up you guys welcome to a new video my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog and you're watching another pen pal with me tutorial now for today's pen pal with me we're making a loaded greeting card which basically means you pick a pretty greeting card and you decorate the inside and then you can fill it with goodies so I'm first going through my postcard greeting card box as you can see I have quite a few uh, when I started this hobby I bought quite a few um, you can also see some card sets that I bought in Museum and, and and things like that but then as I got my PR books I also started receiving a lot and for some reason I always forget to use them so that's why a loaded greeting card is a very good idea um, as you can see I I think my camera is wobbling a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be better in a second. But as you can see, I picked that pretty cacti and succulent one that I received from Louisa, if I'm not mistaken, a little while ago. Uh, it's nice and big, so we can fill it up with goodies. And then uh, the paper, the minty green paper you saw in the background is actually a page from a Flow magazine. It has a print on the other side, but I really like their the back side of these prints because they have like a nice neutral colors such as this minty green so I decided to die cut that and um, I'm going to turn that into a pocket so what you see me die cut is a I don't know how you would call that like a lacy flower kind of something I guess you could use that as background but I'm going to use it as a pocket so I'm very sorry for the shakiness of my camera. I don't know how that is possible since I have like bags filled with rice uh, attached to my tripod. But yeah, we're basically picking papers for the background of the card and then of course a tea, which I forgot to do at the beginning of this video. And then we're going to start decorating. I try to link everything I have used down below, but some things I cannot use, such uh, some things I cannot link, I mean such as this 12 by 12 pastel colored paper pad. Um, I got these from Sostrene Grene, which is a store we have here. Um, but they, as far as I know, they don't have a web shop, so I cannot link that. And it's also these papers, I bought them one to two years ago. So I'm sorry I cannot link that, but I will try to link everything else. Oh, before I forget, don't go anywhere at the end of this video because I have once again screenshotted a couple of pictures from Instagram that use the hashtag the paper letter blog. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, I suggest you do because I not only share my new videos but also pictures of my outgoing mail that you may not see in videos, mainly envelopes. Um, <clears throat> and then I uh, created the hashtag the paper letter blog for people to use when they have been somewhat inspired by my videos and then I will pick a few every now and then to showcase in a video which is still oh my gosh it's like one of my favorite things uh, when I have a bad day I will check the paper letter blog hashtag because first of all you're all incredibly talented incredibly kind and it just blows my mind to see people uh, get inspired by my videos because I always get inspired by other people and to know that I can some bring a little bit of inspiration to people as well it just it makes me very very happy that's like one of the reasons why I started this channel in the first place talking about Instagram I have something cool <clears throat> because this I'm also going to decorate the envelope for this meal in uh, at the end of this video and that envelope together with an other envelope was featured on the flow magazine uh, Instagram page which is super cool like I uh, so it's basically a picture of two envelopes this one or the one that I'm going to create in this video and then a an, an envelope I folded out of a flow magazine page so I tagged them in the picture because I used one of their magazines pages it was just a regular page um, I don't know it had like pretty it was an introduction to an article and it had pretty green leaves on it or something so I used that for an envelope and then I tagged them in it and then shared my picture which is super cool and it had like 
you cannot see exactly how many people liked it, but it said this person, that person, and thousands of others liked this picture. And it just, oh my gosh, that was so cool. So I instantly got like 40 new followers or something on Instagram, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm not in it for the followers, but to be like recognized by one of your favorite magazines is pretty cool. That being said, I have been actually thinking about canceling my subscription. Oops, don't tell them because I currently have three, not even lying, three magazines, three flow magazines that I have to read still from front to back. Like they're just, I'm looking at them now. They're just lying there. I forget to read them. Or lately I've been very invested in like reading books again. I'm reading the Divergent series. It's a lot of fun, so I will prefer reading a book over reading a magazine. I always love Flow Magazine, but it just, it, I, it hasn't like caught my interest in a long time. So I'm thinking of canceling it because I could use the money for something else. But then I do love using their pages for pretty things like envelopes or a pocket in a loaded greeting card. Hmm. So, in the background, we obviously created the pocket, we created the background, we used some washi tape, or I should say I used some washi tape because there's no we. I used some washi tape to um, stick the three pages a little bit more firmly in the uh, load in the card. And then now I'm starting to decorate. I have a whole lot of vintage looking tickets that I got from AliExpress and I'm using some of my wooden stamps to decorate. That is one of my favorite stamps, not gonna lie. I think it's like eucalyptus leaves or something like that. No, it's not, is it? I don't know. I think it's eucalyptus, but it's pretty and I like it. So um, using some stamps to decorate because like my number one thing I always do is um, fill a page with goodies and I'm trying to get better at making collages and decorating and you know, doing something special rather than just sticking in goodies. Although, of course, goodies are also fun. I, I love putting in goodies, but I feel that when I make a collage, I can put in a little bit more <clears throat> of me, if that makes sense. Like, uh, I can also do that with goodies, but when I put in a collage, it, it feels a little bit more like I am expressing myself or something. I don't know, that makes not a whole lot of sense. These clear stamps are from Action, by the way, and the little clock the little wooden clock that you saw me use, I got from Portia in her um, stamp subscription, which I showed in a PO box opening a little while ago. Then it's time for me to pick out some letter writing paper. Always one of my favorite things, trying to match my, because I have so much. I do the La Papier unboxings every month where I get La Papier writing paper and then I show it in a video. So I have a whole lot of writing paper because although I love writing, I simply cannot use it all because I also have a stash of my own. Um, so I have a whole collection of writing paper and then the more I collect, like the easier it becomes and the more fun it becomes to match my writing paper to my project because now I also picked like a pastel pink purplish paper that I think matches this project really well and I don't know that's just one of my hobbies <laughs> matching colors together um so yeah there's that and then this is a whole box of stickers from Aliexpress I haven't actually ordered from Aliexpress in a while first of all because let's be honest I have enough stuff. I still owe you guys that um, craft room tour, but I have enough stuff to last a decade or more. I don't know, I have enough stuff, so I don't need to order that much anymore. Uh, I'll still order the occasional dye or something, but I don't order that much anymore. And also because I'm saving money. And the reason why is very fun. Um, I work as a waitress, which means that I make minimum wages, but it also means that I get tip money. We always share the tip money with all of the team, like the kitchen team and everything, everyone gets the same cut depending on the amount of hours you work at least. Mm. So I'm always trying to see that as like 
a bonus, like a reward, like some some jobs get like end of year bonuses and I get my tip money. So I, I try to use that for something meaningful and for something fun for myself because I always find it hard to spend money on myself. That sounds a little bit weird, but making minimum wages and owning a house and some very expensive cats. <laughs> I'm kidding, they just like to eat expensive food. Anyway, um, I always feel like I have to be a responsible adult and save money and be responsible, responsible, responsible. So I don't actually purchase that much for myself other than like sometimes a new expansion for The Sims or something. But I'm trying to use my tip money for buying meaningful things that will make me happy or that are of use, such as I, for example, for me, I bought the typewriter, the vintage typewriter for my tip money, but I also purchased the daylight lamps and the overhead tripod to improve my YouTube channel. That all feels pretty meaningful, but now I'm actually going to buy something fun, uh, which is a Nintendo Switch. Uh, I wasn't planning on buying a Nintendo Switch, but as probably many of you know, there's going to be a new Animal Crossing coming out very soon. If you don't know what Animal Crossing is, I'm sorry, but run to your nearest store because you're missing out. It's basically the cutest game in the entire world. The best feel-good game whenever you have a bad day. You play Animal Crossing. All is well in the world. That's all I can say. If you don't know it, then I cannot explain. I cannot put into world words what Animal Crossing means to me. And I wasn't planning on buying a Switch. But then a friend of mine is buying a Switch because the Animal Crossing is coming out. And we started talking about it and I got sort of invested and I may have looked at a few videos on YouTube and I, I don't I don't know. Ever since then I it's all I can think about. So now what I'm doing is I, I made like spread sheets or like a spreadsheet in my bullet journal <laughs> to see how much money I had saved, how much tip money I had saved. And I saved up enough for an Animal Crossing uh, Switch. I mean, I want to buy the special edition one even though it's sold out. So I hope they're gonna... Uh, bring out the Animal Crossing Switch again in the future, but I have enough for a Switch and Animal Crossing Which is kind of inc crazy and insane and I'm so excited and I don't want to wait until May March 20th I want it to be out now <laughs> But yeah, long story short, I'm not buying on AliExpress because I'm saving for a Nintendo Switch And I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know, I'm super excited. I'm not an impulse buyer, but gee, am I excited about this? I am super excited. And then I also want to buy like Mario Party and stuff so that I can play that with Heis or with friends. If I can find any, <laughs> maybe my cats want to join me. Oh yeah, random side note, there's a spider on my project. I don't know where it came from. Don't know where it came from. Luckily, I'm not that afraid of spiders, so I just, <laughs> it's, it's gone now. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to share that with you also because I have a feeling that a lot of you have a feeling. Let me know if that's true or not. A lot of you might know Animal Crossing and a lot of you might be impatiently waiting for Animal Crossing like I am. It should be a new, a completely different game with the same feel of Animal Crossing and I couldn't be more excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. This is not sponsored. If this was sponsored, um, I would probably be crying right now. Can you imagine being sponsored by like Animal Crossing or Nintendo. That would be cool. No, instead I only get um, offers from jewelry brands. Like what am I, how am I gonna promote jewelry on my, on my YouTube channel? Like how do they see the connection? I don't see it. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not selling my soul. <laughs> Maybe if they have like really, really cute jewelry, I don't know. But anyway, um, I got completely sidetracked. I was talking about I'm talking about AliExpress and then somehow I ended up talking about Animal Crossing switches. I don't know. Anyway, um, back to this project. I'm obviously decorating an envelope. I used some more of that Soskane and Grene paper and then this sticker book cards, stickers, wrapping paper and envelopes is from Action, which is our Dutch dollar store. I cannot link it. They don't have a website, but yeah, um, I purchased it a little while ago and what I like to do is cut up a bunch of um, the sticker sheets that are in there and give them away as goodies because I always forget to use the actual products. <laughs> and now I've used them to decorate this envelope, which I think looks pretty cute. Anyway, oof, I'm tired. 
Anyway, that was it for today's video. Um, don't go anywhere yet because we still have the pictures from you lot coming up um, in a second. And this is obviously the finished project. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a good day. I wish you all a great weekend, hopefully with some crafting, some letter writing and some Animal Crossing involved. Let me know in the comment down below if you like this project. Um, let me know anything in the comments down below. I always love reading your comments. I do not reply to all of them anymore because sometimes, I don't know, I just forget or it's too many or I, I forget. <laughs> but I always read all of them and they make me very happy. So let me know in the comment down below all of your thoughts, your weekend plans, how you're feeling, I don't mind. And I'll see you again very soon. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, enjoy these pictures of incredible creations that were somewhat inspired by me. Okay, bye! -bye.